As we continue to reflect together in Advent on Mary's voice and her experiences around the birth and childhood of Jesus, today we encounter another extraordinary woman, a lady called Anna. Jesus has been brought to the temple um, to be blessed, to be presented to the Lord um, shortly after his birth and Luke's Gospel records it in this way. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. We meet this extraordinary woman, Anna, who has lost everything and at some level has lived a life of, of lament. She's lived a life of widowhood. But she is able, when she sees the child and she's heard this phrase uttered by the prophet Simeon speaking to Mary, that a sword will pierce your soul. So here's this young mother holding a baby and here's these words, a sword will pierce your soul. A woman who has suffered, a woman who has been in a season of lament, recognises another woman who's going to experience profound suffering. And Mary takes note of this, Mary remembers this and Luke records it for us. Why? Because Jesus has come to die, Jesus has come um, as, a, as a sacrifice for the world. Jesus, Mary knows, is not any ordinary child. He's going to redeem the world. And this, this prophetess, Anna, who's lived her whole life in worship, as she's coming towards the end of her life daily at the temple, and when she lays eyes on that child, she realizes this is something extraordinary. This is something amazing. And she resonates with the profound suffering that Mary is going to endure. So today in Advent, if you're experiencing lament, if you're experiencing any kind of suffering, you can take heart from the reality that Mary's son has been born for a world like ours. Mary's son, Jesus, is born to redeem and save and love and pour his grace into the hearts of people like you and I, even as we walk through veils of tears. So why don't we pray as we reflect. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was presented in the temple, in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.